So, first thing, we're in the field, is looking for a composition where to put alpha. So we've got to try and avoid things like fences, hedges, telegraph poles, trees growing out of his head. Because I walk this route every day, I pretty much know where the good pictures are. If you see me looking off, I'm just watching what he's up to. Arthur, come here then. Oh, nice, good boy. So we're gonna just wander around, have a quick look, what the best composition will be, and then we'll get set up, we'll get shooting quickly. It's not a great day today. I've been holding off getting out to do this. I was hoping for another frosty day and unfortunately it's cold and wet and horrible. But Arthur seems to like it, so we'll get on with this. This is this is quite a nice view for a picture. You've got the, the path leading off into the distance, the trees overhang. The only problem with it is, is when you look in the distance, you can see the telegraph poles. Now, Hopefully it should disappear when you shoot a picture like this, but we're not going to take any risks. So we're going to move on down the path a little bit more, try and find a scene where they're not in the background. You all right, mate? Yeah? Yeah? What do you want? Tree? Come on. Yeah? Right guys, so what we're going to be doing this morning is doing some pictures of the big fella here and he's got this new body warmer for his Christmas present. So what he wanted, he said to me, Dad, can you take me over the field and do me, come here, do me some pictures for my Instagram feed. So I said, all right, I will do that, Arthur. And what we can do is we can bind it with taking some pictures on an iPhone and we can show everyone about doing pictures on their iPhone, can't we? Yeah? Yeah. So. Right, first of all, we've got to get him in a position. So let's think of our composition first. So I'm thinking that we put him about here. So the view at the moment there is just thorns, trees, sky. There's no pylons or anything in the background. So, right, come on, let's get you in position, yeah? Come on, this way, this way. Sit, sit, sit. The first thing we've got to try and do is because he's got a logo on his neck, you can see just there, so we need to make sure that is in the frame of the picture because there's no point in doing a picture if you're not going to show off what he's wearing. So that's the perfect thing. That's perfect. He's there. Stay. What we have to do now, though, is what you can see is all the grass in front of him. This is so we're going to move all the grass out of the way of the shot. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to get him in position and get the phone ready. So right. Should we get all this grass out of the way for you? Right. Now let's get you in position. Sit. Good boy. That one. Now stay. Now, I try to avoid getting their collars into the picture. Primarily is I don't really want anyone seeing where he lives. So we'll get that around his neck so we get his collar bit in. So, Arthur, you want to sit for me? You're going to sit? Sit. You're not having it then. No. No, you're not having it. Do you want it? Well, you're going to work for it. Yeah? Good boy. Stay. Stay. So, we've got Arthur sitting now. So, into the... So, I'm going to just show you this on the video right now. That's kind of a nice composition just there. See? The trees and the um, grass and all that and he's sitting there quite nicely. Now, he doesn't stay still for very long, as you can see, because he wants his treat. But he's not getting his treat until he does some work. So, sit, good boy. Good boy, just move it slightly that way. There we go. So we got half in a position we quite like now. I'm gonna probably have to adjust the cameras in a sec because this is gonna get a bit bright. We're into photo mode. And there's Arthur looking really good there. So we're just on the wide lens right now. Nope, there we go. Yep, had to happen. Give me a kiss. Do I get a kiss? Do I get a kiss? Go on. Right. So we've got Arthur back. 
in this position there. I'm just going to come around a little bit. No. See, what happens now is you can see all this grass in front of him. Stay. So we're just going to pick a bit of this out of the way. Just come back to a position. So we're looking at not getting that tree in the background. There we go. So there's a couple of frames there. It's looking really good. But of course he wants a treat straight away. All right. Stay. So he's back in his spot there. So we can see a bit of the brand. Now his collar keeps popping out. So just gonna push that back underneath again. There we go, mate. Yeah. So here we go. I'm gonna pull him back. This time I'm gonna go into the longer lens. So I can see a bit more grass there. So I'm just gonna pick that out of the way. So so it clears the area out of the way. Stay. So we're coming back now. So we're on the longer lens now. And of course that always makes images look a lot better. So we'll just, there we go. I'm gonna come down to Arthur's height, which sometimes is the most important thing to do with a dog. Just gonna clear a bit more grass out of the way. If I don't fall over. There we go. And there's the big fella. So just gonna come down lower. Focus in on him. So he's looking really good there. Come on in. So as you can see, working with your puppy is not always easy because he wants to be fed lots of treats for working, don't you, mate? Yeah? 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 Yes, yes. Hello. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, let's get you back in position, Arthur. The only problem is we're not getting the logo for the jacket in, which can be a bit of a, a problem because he doesn't want to play ball. Do you, mate? Yeah? You've had a nice play with a couple of other doggies, haven't you? And you want treats. Well, if you want treats, mate, you've got to work for them. Yeah? Come on. So you want to work for it? Yeah? Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's do this picture then. You pretty much carry the best camera in the world in your pocket all the time. A smartphone, not only is it for checking Instagram, Facebook, tweeting people, occasionally calling people on it as well, it has a fantastic camera and you can use it to your advantage. Now, when you're photographing any sort of animal, the best way of doing it is getting down to their height. Why <laughs> I'm on the floor now and the camera's with me. If you stand up, you're looking at it from your height, you're looking down at them. Now, that can make a great picture. But more than likely, a lot of the pictures you see will be level with the dog. And maybe a little bit lower on the dog. So you're looking up, getting the, getting, the, getting the environment around the dog. So it's rather than just looking down. When we tap on the iPhone, you see it comes up with that square. Well, that's exposure for you as well. So if you put your finger next to the square and drag down, it pulls your exposures down. If you pull it up, pulls your exposures up. So with something like Arthur, who's a little bit white, occasionally he blows out. So by blown out, I mean his fur, where it's white, some hits it, you don't get any detail within it. That little exposure compensation on the side of your focusing point is really good and really easy to know. There's a lot of people that don't know about it. So, you know, this is why I'm doing this today, to try and help and educate at the same time. Morning. Oh, okay. One of them. Shh. Right, come around. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Now, that's what I want with the jacket. There we go. Two things. One, the grass in the way, and then two is collar. Stay. So what we're going to do, so we can lift his head up a little bit. We're just going to bring, do you want this? His stick up. There we go. And we're going to go into the, the zoom. Couple more. And then we're going to go the ultra wide again. Bang, bang. <laughs> now you can have your stick, mate. So, um, when food doesn't work, let's try giving him a stick. That's almost 
the perfect picture there. There we go. Wait a sec, mate. There we go. That's perfect almost. We'll go back to one. Come down a little bit, I think. And then go in a little bit. Stay. I'm going to go in a little bit more on the wide. Now, normally, I like to use a longer lens than this, but with the iPhone, it gets you in quite nice and close. Would you like this? Is that what you want? No, no stay, stay. <laughs> Hello, man. So, I hope you guys are taking something from this. Uh, <laughs> you want the stick, do you? You want the stick. So, I hope you guys are taking something from this that having the phone in your pocket all the time is the best thing you can have ever. And also, just try to change your angles when you're hopefully photographing the pets in that lovely park. Just go lower. It's, it's not hard to do. Just come a little bit lower. Maybe step back a little bit. Use the longer lens. Use the wider lens. Just work the situation to come out of that picture that you'll be really, really proud of. And possibly stick it on your wall at home. Why not? Or use it as your cover on your iPhone like everyone else does. And, you know, just get those pictures done. Just enjoy taking the pictures of your animals. It's, you know, to us, these are like surrogate children. So any picture I get of them is a precious picture. Not that... What, what, what have you got, mate? So, so any picture of these guys is very precious to us. So, you know, I take loads of them of these two all the time. Hope sometimes, you know, just a bang, quick snap. Other times on, like today, we're trying to do something a little bit different. So I'm glad, I hope you, like I say, I hope you're taking something from this today. This is my first proper production kind of video. Uh, hopefully I'll make a few more if this works out well and if you enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, stick a comment below, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and all the general stuff that everyone else says to you on a YouTube channel. I'm still learning that and if this went well well we'll do one with a dslr or a mirrorless camera show you bits and bobs that pretty much it's exactly the same as what we've done with the iphone it's getting low but it's a little bit different maybe with the lenses choices how i would shoot a dog or an animal or a pet with a, a proper camera with a phone you're pretty limited on lenses but you can create some amazing stuff from it but with a dslr or a mirrorless SLR, whatever they're called these days, a camera, a proper camera with a changeable lens, you can get some even more spectacular pictures of your pets and your animals. So, like I say, if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe hopefully, um, leave us a comment down below if you want to see those videos as well, and thanks for joining my first, pub, my first proper video. Cheers. See you guys. Arthur, let's go. Let's go.